If you have ever taken a rapid test for COVID lately, then you probably already know that you found yourself squinting really closely at the test strip, trying to figure out if you actually see that line or not. Yeah, you're not alone. Tonight, CBS 17 digital reporter Jenny McCrary is fact-checking a claim. The test results that are so hard to read might actually be a good thing. Chances are you've already got some COVID immunity, either from the vaccine or from catching it. So experts say if your rapid test gives you a really faint positive line, your immune system is probably doing a good job of fighting it. We're doing more testing for COVID at home, and your results might be getting harder to read. That's not entirely a bad thing. This is one of those things that's a good news, bad news uh, kind, of, kind of place we find ourselves. Dr. Thomas Denny of the Duke Human Vaccine Institute is an expert on testing. He calls those ambiguous results a side effect of both the vaccines and the millions of cases. So all that, you know, gets us to that point where we were hoping to be one day is a lot of people have antibody levels circulating in their blood. Here's what's happening. There's a rule of thumb. A test line that's bold and bright usually means you have lots of the virus in your body. But a dimmer line means those virus levels are low, or the antibodies you already have are fighting it off. When you have all that antibody circulating in the blood, it can bind together like a lock and key. When that happens, the antigen assays, as we know them, don't perform as well. That's why you're seeing these dim patterns. UNC Dr. David Wall says in the big picture, that kind of positive is a positive thing. This is showing that the virus gets into our system, but then we beat it back. Dr. Denny says we might have to tweak future tests to make up for it. And he lays out another option in my story online. Jody McCrary, CBS 17 News.